o'clock. I'd like to open up the meeting. Any adjustments to the uh, agenda, though? I, I have one. Um, just because I'm, I'm aware that there were two versions of the agenda that kind of went out. Um, in the executive session, uh, in one version, there was only um, the citing of 1 VSA section 313A1B. And um, we also will be... Um, we need to start yet? Yeah, we just started. Um, there'll be another topic that will be discussed which falls under 1 BSA section 313A20. So I'd like to add that to the agenda. On the current copy that everybody's picked up tonight, um, both of those are on there, but in some of the earlier, I think the ones that got posted in town, that one was missing. Um, any other adjustments at all? No. Okay. Any public comment? <laughs> okay. So I would make a motion that we approve the bills to the town. Second. All in favor? Aye. Right. Right. And then I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes from the December 23rd, 2019 Select Board meeting and from the January 8th, 2020 Special Select Board meeting. I'll say your turn. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 So here is one set of minutes. So. Which chair would you prefer, Skip? Get the choice. This is better for the TV audience. Or you can sit here. <laughs> <laughs> I might even stand. Wow, that's intimidating. <laughs> Yeah, you want a red one? <coughs> or a blue yeah. one? <coughs> I think we'll be all right. Pocket load of pens. They're all different colors for everything he does. All right, ready for me? Yep, we are. Okay. Yep, fire away. <coughs> okay. Um, so the reason I'm here is to ask for your blessing to um, apply for a grant on behalf of the town to um, construct an observation space behind the school at the wetland. Oh. So that's ultimately why I'm here. So there's a lot of um, history that I wanted to cover with you guys because I'm assuming you don't know very much about what's going on over there. No. Okay, great. Michael does. Mm -hmm. So if I miss anything, okay. let me know. Okay, so this goes back three years, I think. Mm -hmm. um, this all started with the steering committee that was created um, as a subcommittee of the school board. Um, and it was comprised of um, community members, um, the school, parents, anyways, um, and a lot of things came out of that, but one thing that uh, the group wanted to focus on was outdoor education, and then from that conversation, some things happened, so I don't know if you're aware, but there's the, um, a couple of nice um, class meeting spaces outside um, along the nature trail now. So there's a log circle and a platform out there that teachers can use for that. And um, this project is really something that's been talked about for a long time that came pretty much from Susan Sawyer um, and her interactions with the school and taking the kids out um, and studying the wetland. So anyways, um, we've kind of been on this path for a while. Um, how do, where do I want to... So let me show you. And this is previously there was a floating dock yes. that floated away. Thank you. <laughs> so, there was. And it was pretty precarious when you got a group of school children out <laughs> on it. Yes. <laughs> so and this, it was quite small. Yeah. So this is. Um, so um, the the idea. Well, this, the, the, this is the way it started. It's kind of. Um, Snowball, but the idea is that it's wide enough, it's safe, it's not, it's not a floating uh, boardwalk. It's actually got sticks and legs, yeah. It, yeah, so if you see, it, this is the shoreline right here, so it'll go across um, uh, into the water, and it's wide enough so that um, little people can lay down and get um, water samples or use their nets and grab little things and then they can carry them over to 
I don't have um, a picture of it, but upland to um, a platform where there'll be a, a table or a picnic table or something so they can check out their samples. Um, so that's kind of how it started, but there's other things happening out here that are more community centric and not necessarily school centric that um, you know will really be enhanced by this. And I'm thinking of like the bird walk that happens. I don't know if it's still mm -hmm. happening, but it yeah. was. Every, every Mother's Day. Perfect. Yeah. So that's still happening, and this will be a really great opportunity um, for those folks. Um, the teachers course is still run out in the wetland. Fish and Wildlife does that. Um, and this will be a place where they can bring their um, canoes out there because right now they don't have a really great spot to put in. Yeah. Um, and just, you know, there is a lovely nature trail, some spots to stop, and it'll be great for the community and it'll complement what the Co Conservation Commission is doing in the town forest also. So, anyways. Um, this going to float? Or is it going to no. Be post? So it's on helical piles. It has very okay. fancy foundation. Um, yes, okay. they're like giant screws if you don't know what helical piles They just piles screw in, yeah. Yeah, oh. so there's going to be little, very little impact, which mm -hmm. um, makes the state happy. Yeah. And mm -hmm. makes us happy, and maybe we want little mm -hmm. impact. Um, <clears throat> so we had helical pile testing done gosh, about two, almost two, two years ago? Almost two years ago. Uh, the Conservation Commission and the school paid for that, and they basically dug a bunch of holes and said anywhere from it's going to be 6 to 11 feet for you to drill down and hit something solid. Yeah. Um, so we had all that testing done. Um, the Woodbury Fund uh, very generously gave us um, some money to have these plans done, um, and along with the agreement, um, this is timber and stone. Um, they do this kind of work and they do it really well. Oh. And they have Woodbury Connections, which is really nice yeah. as well. So that's what I'm saying. Yep, yeah, timber and stone. Yeah. Yep. And um, so they are also going to provide us an estimate before the grant is due, which is the 20th. So I don't have an estimate yet, but mm -hmm. I plan to just plug that in and, and run with it if, yeah. uh, if that sounds good. Um, you know, I've, I've talked with, uh, I met a wetlands person from DEC out there. And um, the wetlands people are on board, the shorelands people are on board. I've consulted with the Army Corps of Engineers, they're on board. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, unbelievable. Yeah. Not board. They're not going to make you get a conditional use determination to do this. Oh, that's good. As far as I'm aware, there is zero permitting required Perfect. for this project. <coughs> we even have a project worksheet that's approved from DEC, mm -hmm. so we're, if the grant's approved, we're on the ground running and, and ready to do this in the spring or early summer whenever the weather cooperates. <coughs> um, so did I cover everything I wanted to say about that? So when, um, so the, the application is due on the 20th? It is. Um, and then when, um, is there, when is the notification time? When would you know whether or not, because um, you yeah. mentioned there were like two stages. Yeah. Yeah. So February, we'll know if we pass the first stage. So basically, they'll take all applications and that goes through Forest Parks and Recreation and ACCD, which I can't think of. Agency of Commerce yeah. and Community, Community, Community Development. Development. Thank you, yes. Yeah. So it goes through them as kind of a pre-screening and they pick out the ones they like. Of the ones they like, you are required this year to do a short presentation to the Selection Committee. And then they'll make a determination. It, it sounds like it all happens very quickly, and um, the money is available, or the grant agreement, or however it works, is available in May. Um, Do you know if they would fully fund it? Is there a match, or there's no match? There's no match. That's nice. It is nice. Yeah. Um, you know, one thing they're really looking for is I didn't even tell you what it's. Bowrick. Yeah. I'm glad you wrote that. I had to look it up. <laughs> Vermont Outdoor Recreation Economic Collaborative. It's really a, a mouthful. So um, they're looking for one that there is a need um, or a desire is kind of, those are my words. Um, and we know that there is because at the same time we were going through this, the Conservation Commission, um, you had a grant, right, to do the, um, the visioning for the, the town. Um, for the trail. Yeah. yeah. So the, the Conservation Commission did a town forest um, recreation plan, so we have it, that, and, and the wetland was part of it. And um, people 
wanted an education and demonstration component. That's what they want in the wetland, which makes sense because it's a lovely, unique space um, for education. All types, not just, not just school. Um, so that ranked really high in the wetland area, I guess. I just wanted to point that out, and I lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, oh, I wanted to let you guys know kind of what it what it would mean. So no match, as we just said. Um, one thing it does require with capital projects is that um, it's in use for the public for 10 years, which is not a problem because mm -hmm. I don't believe you can tell me otherwise. But we hope it will be, you know. Oh, Brandy's got her hand up. Oh, hi. So the town doesn't technically own the wetlands, correct? That particular place where this dock would be is, is owned by the school district. So how point. can we get a grant on something we don't own? So there can be, I thought that it was all town now, so mm -hmm. that was my mistake. But well, I think the land it might be touching is ours. Uh, well, no, technically th that particular part of the wetland is owned by the school district. Um, I think what we could try to do is do this in collaboration with yeah. the school. Um, it will need to be if that's the case, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, and, uh, was I going to say, oh, I'm losing my train of thought left and right here. <laughs> uh, um, I don't think it would be a problem even with the school because they're part of the project. I mean, it being different now with the school district, maybe there's a couple of hoops. Right. That's, that's why. Yeah. Right. I think crunch. what yeah. we could do is, um, and, you know, we could apply for the grant and then, um, we could quickly check in with the supervisor, mm -hmm. the superintendent, um, before the 20th, which is what, today's the 13th, so mm -hmm. next, yeah. next Monday. Um, we could check in with them, and, and they could either write a letter of support or um, we, like The that. grant does require um, something to do with, it does require something from landowners. Right. Uh, I don't recall what it was, honestly, because I didn't make that connection. Yeah. Um, when, when we were doing the school merger, just for clarification, mm -hmm. um, we had thought uh, to, that the school district, the Woodbury School District, before it became Uni District, would transfer that, that property to the town. But there was something, there was a clause in the, the law about the mergers um, that didn't allow the Woodbury School District to give that chunk of land to the town. It wasn't an issue with the property that the school is on or the school building or the other half of the wetland because the town did own that. But the Woodbury School District could not give that or sell that, you know, with a quick claim deed mm -hmm. to the town um, under the rules of uh, state statute for the merger. So it, that technically, that's the only thing there that went yeah. into the Union District, Got it. that little piece of property. Okay. Oh. And that's right where this is. That's where that would be. Okay, yeah, the they own the land too. <coughs> so I, just, yeah. I have a okay. map. I should have that's brought fine. it. I don't. All that said, and I'm what glad Brandy brought it up. I don't think it's going to impede this project. Mm -hmm. And if you all feel like it's still appropriate to apply as a town, I feel like it is and is better, honestly. Yep. Um, just given everything. And frankly, it's easier to get work done with the town than the school. Yeah. Um, if I'm going to be. Perfect. We'd have to get. We'd have to get some kind of. I mean, obviously, there's a different property owner, so we'd have to get some kind of. Yes. Waiver permission. Um, and it is required as part of this. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, and, and whether we need that for the initial application or whether we, you know, we could get that afterwards. How'd you find that out? We'd have to talk to the supervisory union okay. or, or the union school board. See if they have an issue with it or not. Or right. Yeah. Or if they I think the school board actually, I don't know if it needs to go to them or not, but they do have a meeting this week, if do they? I'm not mistaken. Maybe mm -hmm. Wednesday. Have you broached this to them yet? I mean, the school is very much involved. Yeah. Uh, right. How much the school board is involved, I mean, the representatives from Woodbury are, um, and certainly the principal has been involved. Oh, yeah, Both I keep forgetting principals. this is a bigger, bigger picture. Yeah, it's yeah. beyond us now. Um, yeah. I wonder if contacting Phoebe Slater would be, she could either bring it up at the yeah. school board meeting. Um, Do you know Phoebe then? Yeah. 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 
Um, yes, I'll do that. And also their um, their financial person knows about this because okay. the uh, Woodbury Fund grant went through the school district and not yep. through the town. That's so good. they're aware yep. of it. Yeah, they're in favor of it if they put in for the grant. So. Right. Yeah. I have a hard time believing they would say no, but maybe. I do too. I don't. Yeah. I I would be totally shocked if they did. Yeah. So. Um, but I will certainly do that. I'll even send an email tonight. Okay. Um, I would just check in with her. She <coughs> could bring it up at the the school board meeting. Mm -hmm. They have one a meeting on Wednesday, and um, yeah. And maybe she could quickly just write something that could go with the application, and, or we probably could just sort of. Ignore that for the moment, and um, it is specifically indicated. So I'll just yeah. circle back to the application to see what it says. Okay. If that's required for the application or not, because you're right, it might not be mm -hmm. until the. I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of formal grant at the end of right. whoever gets elected. So. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. Okay. Great. Um. I think that's all. Mm -hmm. I, <laughs> so, so basically, <laughs> what you're asking the select board is just to um, uh, <clears throat> sort of give our approval for applying for this grant. Yeah, so I've started working on it, um, and it's going through a few other people if they mm -hmm. have the time to look mm -hmm. at it. Um, so it would be, I think that there has to be a project group identified mm -hmm. and um, one of those people has to be I think that the project lead technically has to be um, a municipal officer uh -huh. um, so we would mm -hmm. I guess I would ask you Michael no I'd be happy those, to do that sure. um, involved sure. if you'd yeah. be interested um, yeah. and uh, it also requires a, somebody from the recreation community to be part of the group I don't know who that could be. That Somebody from the Friends of the Woodbury Elementary School? Are we con con consider Sounds recreational, doesn't it? <laughs> well, you organize a skating thing in the... Yeah, that's recreational. Uh, yeah. Um, I, maybe I should <clears throat> go back and see who that could possibly be. Right. But I don't really know who that could be. Um, and then the other thing we're looking for, is, as I told you, a couple of um, letters um, of support from mm -hmm. people. It would look really good for us if we had a regional person that would support this. I think that Paul has reached out to the urban, no not urban, the forestry legacy something. Okay, the, the group that we got the something. town trail grant from. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. I think he was okay. reaching out to them. Okay, good. Um, Paul, Paul Council? Paul Council. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, Paul was involved. Yeah, I wonder Paul. if Susan... <laughs> not this one. No, I wonder if um, Ali <coughs> Or you know, somebody connected with the Buck Lake would be. Uh, that's a great idea. Because um, I mean, they use the wetland for that teacher's mm -hmm. thing every oh, year. Oh, they do. Yeah. Yeah. They come down with their canoes every. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they used to put in on Route 14 yeah. over, right. the bank. Down yep. over the bank. And I think that they've started putting. They you could. There's a hole now off of the trail. I think they're putting uh -huh. down on the trail now. But yeah. Yeah. that would be. That'd be a great place for them to. Oh yeah. Yeah. Start using sure. mm -hmm. yeah. Great idea. I'll ask for Yeah, tomorrow. she would be, yeah, or somebody yeah. connected with that. Um, yeah, that's a good one. And I don't know if Susan might know some other, you know, people that she's involved with, or mm -hmm. she could use her Four Winds hat or something like that. Yeah. And, and I know that yeah. they're kind of after, part of this, whole collaborative thing is um, they're trying to promote um, uh, outdoor recreation as a, a source of like for people who might have a business doing that I mean they're trying to it's it's kind of a uh, commercial has commercial aspect as well as a community aspect so somehow um, I mean it's too bad that we there, you know, right in the village, there isn't much um, commercial. <laughs> That's all. Not but, much left. <laughs> but, but we do. I mean, the, we, you know, these are just some thoughts I've had since some um, emails. You, know, you know, a big part of our summer, you know, population are people who come here, who pay taxes to have camps here. So we we are kind of an outdoor recreation 
um, mecca of sorts. Um, it's all pretty private. Um, yeah, everybody to their individual ponds. Right, but there are, you know, there are a, f a number of people in town that aren't here otherwise, and they're here because of um, what Woodbury has to offer as far as waterways and stuff. So, you know, we, yeah. we can kind of brainstorm. I feel like it's not your typical thing. recreation that there that you kind of think of. I mean, let's see. Most yeah. um, yeah. people are here to ski and swim and stuff, and this is more of yeah. a yeah. canoeing and yeah, yeah wildlife watching. The, I mean, yeah. the the percentage of wildlife watchers out there is growing mm -hmm. astronomically, yeah. and birders. There's so many birders now, yeah. and this is a really great place for both of them. And, and, and with the forest. Town Forest Trail project, this could be a complement to it where somebody might come to hike on the forest, you know, the Town Forest Trail, and then they might wander across the road and, and go on the nature trail in the wetland area. And, you know, it could be, you know, kind of a sit in a little park and have a picnic, you know. <laughs> it, yeah, it could, be, it could become something. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I think. Um, so, um, I'll make a motion that we um, support uh, this grant application project that um, Elizabeth has with the Vermont Outdoor Recreation Economic Collaborative um, Community Grant um, and that the town basically will become the, um, the presenter of, of the application. Um, yeah, the grantee in the end with yeah. any luck. Right. So, so let me re rephrase that. I'm not very good at having <laughs> succinct understanding. Um, I make a motion that the town of Woodbury um, apply to the Vermont Outdoor Recreation Economic Collaborative Community Grant um, for the um, dock project in in the um, school slash town wetland area. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. um, I'll CC you. Would you like sure. to CC you on this? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. If um, if it blows up, I'll let you guys know that too. Okay. <laughs> and then anything you know that that I need to sign or you know do or whatever. Um, I'll circle back with you for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll be around. Actually, I have the whole day Friday open, so. Super. So, or the weekend. Say that. We can fix that. <laughs> Well, thank you for your support. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing it. Yep. Doing your research and work on this. So. Yeah. Be good. We'll see you oh, oh, boy. Yeah, Cross your fingers for me. All right. Good luck with it. Thanks, guys. Uh, so we are ready for no, this big screen in the middle. Oh. Fire pit. Yeah. Well, that that actually be open water too. The stadium lights up. Yeah. Stadium lights. Look at that one. Boom sound system. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> We are ready for you, sir. Okay. Oh. Good evening, gentlemen. So a couple of things. Initially, it was to put forth Jane Noel Lorendo's name as a member of the Planning Commission. Mm -hmm. I was here last, like, last week doing some auditing, and Jane was here, and we were explaining what the Planning Commissioners mm -hmm. are going through. And, uh, so she asked if there were any openings on the commission. I said, oh, sure. Sure. So I'm presenting Jane Noel Lorendo's name for mm -hmm. your consideration okay. to become a member of the planning commission. Mm -hmm. Would you like us to make a motion right now to... Well, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes, it, from the recommendation of the planning commission, I would like to make a motion that the select board appoint Jane Noel Lorendo to the planning commission for... Uh, We'll, we'll figure that out. Yeah. Whatever it'll, term she fills. Yeah. Yeah. It'll. Yes. Un yeah. Until at least uh, uh, town meeting. Okay. Yeah. And awesome. then at town meeting, we can revisit. Okay. Well, we could. Yeah, we could revisit it afterwards, or we could yeah. just do it right now. I think. I don't okay. Know. Because it's not an elected position. It's not. They're appointed anyway, right? Yeah. 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 So, three-year term. Oh, Three year term for me. Okay. I'll second Sounds that. good for me. <laughs> All in favor? Bye. Bye. Okay. Thank you. And lastly, I just want to give you folks an update on 
what the Planning Commission is, is up against. Uh, I have a, since you folks in an that article, yeah. Yeah, and what spurred this request for you folks to uh, consider the article is that last September we had a couple of meetings with the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commissioners in regards to rewriting our town plan. And with that, there was grant monies available for what was called the Fiscal Year 2020 Municipal Planning Grant. So Woodbury, along with several other, or numerous other municipalities, applied for the grant. And regrettably, Woodbury, Woodbury's application wasn't accepted. And according to the, the woman who administers these funds, it was because they had budgeted, or they got $450,000 from the legislature, and applications totaling over $800,000 okay. were submitted. So we were... We did make the cut. We did not make the cut. And it wasn't because our application was deficient, I found out. Mm -hmm. It was just that there were so many others that applied for the grant. And so she and I, she is a woman named... Jennifer Lavoie, and she works for the Department of Housing and Community Development. Mm -hmm. So we've been swapping emails back and forth. And there'll be another round of applications this year. Mm -hmm. And those will happen in the summertime. Mm -hmm. So there, is a, there are a couple of options for us. And let me just step back. The reason why I feel it's important that we do update the town plan is twofold. Number one, the town plan that we're working from was written and approved in 2003. Mm -hmm. And Michael and a group of individuals in the Planning Commission in 2016 submitted an updated town plan, which was sent back to yeah, the I wasn't town. on the Planning Commission oh, quite then, but yeah, it was but yeah, it was submitted in 2016. Right. Yeah. And it was sent back. Yeah, it was recommendations for changes. Yeah. Right. And writing a town plan, just from looking at it yes. and from all the information that goes into oh. it is just a daunting task. It's a mind-boggling task, yeah, unless you have experience or know how to do it. But it's going to take someone a lot of time. It's very intimidating. It is. Yeah. It is a lot of time. And <coughs> one of the upshots of writing a new town plan is we get to update our zoning ordinance. Mm -hmm. And our zoning ordinance is circa 2003. So it's you know, a 17 year old zoning ordinance, mm -hmm. which a lot of laws have changed, and so that needs to be looked at too. So we can't update that without a, update without a plan? Without a town plan. We have, Woodbury has been without a town plan since 2008, because yeah. it was last approved in 2003 and it was a five year right. time period, so we've, we've been. <laughs> For you know, 11, 12 years now. Yeah. Right, so. so it sounds like this needs to be done. Now. It does need to be done. Well, there are oh. options too. Yeah. Okay. So, and so well, before I look, look at the options, if you look at the budget, we put this. Uh, this is a, a budget for the planning grant, and it was how the planning grant monies were going to be expended, and you can see in the. Uh, what color would you call that, Michael? <laughs> uh, beige, I in guess. The beige, right. <laughs> in the beige rows, those are all the, uh, the, the work that the Regional Planning Commission is going to do, utilizing the funding from, from the grant money. The town of Woodbury in blue, those are the uh, work products that we were going to have to produce as part of the grant. Okay, that's not that bad. No, so just developing the grant, like work sessions, plan and facilitate public engagement, update data, draft text, and develop maps. Now that's a lot of work that Regional Planning Commission was going to do. Yeah. And we in Woodbury had the responsibility for public outreach, whatever that looked like. And we had developed a Gantt chart outlining what that was going to look like. And that was all part of the application that went into the Department of of housing that was summarily rejected. So, okay. Anyway, that's that's the budget. Mm -hmm. it, and basically, you know, with this budget, what what the grant um, 
kind of call for is that the <coughs> people staff at the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission would, would be pretty much putting together the town plan for us based on you know their experience with the regional plan and then and part of the process of creating a town plan there are a lot of public hearings and outreach and stuff and that, that would have been the Woodbury's Planning Commission role to do all of that we would be the sort of town face for it and um, and we you know we would have obviously we would have input and the town would have input in, in whatever the regional planning commission put together. So we had put together a project plan just for that, mm -hmm. with dates, locations, and collaterals, all that. Good. Okay. So that that's all done. So to me, there are there are two ways to go through, to go about this. One would be to submit that article at town meeting, or secondarily, we could wait resubmit our plan or our, our application for the planning grant and hope that we are successful this time. Mm -hmm. So or chip you know, away at trying to do it chip ourselves. away at trying doing it ourselves. And we have a meeting next Monday and I read the Elmore Town plan. Mm -hmm. And that is like 80 pages with maps of mm -hmm. of text and citing state laws and they didn't do theirs on their own then no memorial yeah. county regional planning commission did that one did yeah. that one so you feel that that's the best way to go by having our regional planning commission i think it's the most expedient way at yeah. this point in time to get it done to get it done, to get it done right Second, yeah. and secondarily yeah. if they write the draft of the plan Mm -hmm. And so then we likely going to be approved by that. Then we, exactly. Yes. Then we tweak it, you know, to make sure. it more Woodbury centric. Yeah. Send it back to them. If they reject it, their own plan, or their own plan, their own plan that they created, yeah. that would be a head scratch. A little weird, yeah. Uh, yeah. Wrote it. Yeah. So and something. that is part of the process. You know, it has to go through vetting by the town um, first. You know, the planning commission has to kind of look at the draft that the Regional Planning Commission would create for us and, and you know we'll probably work with them to if there's anything that we do want to change to kind of, especially from the public hearings that we have people have questions or they want to see changes and, and we feel those are valid um, then you know so we would we would put together a town plan with the, with the crux of the work would be done by the Regional Planning Commission and then it has to be approved by the town, basically the select board. But you know, through, there would be at least two or more public hearings where the town people, anybody who's interested, and usually there's you can count the number of people on one hand. Um, you know, and then it gets goes to the regional planning commission board of commissioners. Um, first of all, it gets reviewed by a committee of the commissioners, um, and if there's anything that doesn't jive with the regional planning, com regional plan, then um, they'll suggest changes, and then we would incorporate those or give an argument for why. Sure. Yeah. Um, so, and then it goes. So the regional, the plan review committee <coughs> of the regional planning commission would submit it a recommendation of whether or not to approve um, the town plan. And there's two things that they approve. It's, one is the plan itself, and also the process. They, it's very the state and the regional planning commission. We want to make sure that the town did due diligence in the process of creating the town plan. So mm -hmm. basically, meaning that there was plenty of opportunity for public. We held our sure. public hearings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, that was part of the application that we completed in last September, mm -hmm. and we made sure that there was significant amounts of public engagement. Mm -hmm. Because we understood now, do they it. count the number of people that come to these meetings, or just the fact that we're holding meetings? That we're holding meetings. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so, yeah. Because there's not going to ever be any great amount yeah, of public participation. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, unless you give them free stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. A dance. A dance. <laughs> <laughs> With the starlight rhythm yeah. voice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you know, it, it's hard to say. Well, how many. It, it sounds to me like it needs to move forward, and we should put this on the agenda to. Mm -hmm. Okay. You looked at because I'm not volunteering to write it, so oh, yeah. 
I'm no, not expecting someone else to do it. So yeah, for us, yeah, huh. and spend the money for it. Yeah. It's, and to Michael's point, we're looking at a draft energy plan that they put together for the town for free. For free. Yeah. yeah. And we're struggling. I shouldn't say struggling. We have a couple of issues with it, but mm -hmm. we don't believe that the, the plan, the energy plan, was written with Woodbury in mind. Right. It's just out of sync. Somebody's boilerplate stuff from somewhere. Yeah, it is. It, it is. is kind of boilerplate stuff. Yeah. And looking at it, you know, we, we had a couple of people come in and give mm -hmm. some public input, mm -hmm. which was, you know, well received. Mm -hmm. And so we have to work on that before I feel right. comfortable yeah. taking the draft off of it mm -hmm. and making it a final plan. Mm -hmm. So we'll be talking about that at our meeting mm -hmm. Monday, the 20th, okay. beginning at 6 o'clock. Right here? <laughs> no, Actually, we meet in the community room. The community yeah. room. Yeah. Because I'm able to... Uh, project my laptop onto, gotcha. the, onto the wall and we can go through. Uh, so, up to you, select board, you know, if you want to present it and give the voters a shot at it, that's fine. And it wouldn't necessarily preclude you from applying for the grant again either. No, I will. No, I yeah, will so, I mean, it's just a backup plan. It's a backup I, plan yeah. and, yeah, if we didn't have to, um, to spend this money, um, you know, we'll just... And we would probably, let's see, would we know by the time, you know, usually we kind of make a final town budget um, before the tax, you know, at the end of the fiscal year, before the fiscal year is over. Well, we're probably going to run into those. We, this will be in the budget. Yeah, it'll be in the, the budget. One the voters contemplate. You'd have to set the tax rate for it. You'd have that money to put yeah. somewhere else That's if it didn't go right. there. Yeah. yeah. And this woman. Or we carry it over into the next right. fiscal year. Jennifer LaVoy said, the next round of applications will be this summer. Okay, so that'll be that'll be too late. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so um, I would make a motion that the town approve that the town include on the town warning agenda um, for the town residents to consider um, that the town appropriate uh, ten thousand dollars for the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission to assist the Woodbury Planning Commission in creating a 2020 town plan. I'll second that. It's got to be done. Aye. Aye. Yeah, it's got to be done, so. Yeah. And you know it could get shut down at town meeting, but well, yeah, I, yeah. Find out. Yeah. I doubt, I doubt. Because yeah. I'll be asking for volunteers to write then. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. <coughs> Some will have to write. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying. It's like you're going to vote it down, but if you don't have a replacement for if, it, if we were to work start. on it on our own, it would take. <clears throat> well, it would take a while. Yeah, I think. You know, I'm sure we have we have the intelligence and and, and it's wherewithal. Right. Thing. It's just you write it. It's quite it's a learning just curve. Yeah. Learning curve. Getting the maps from the regional planning commission, mm -hmm. breaking them down. Producing it yeah. would be as difficult, I think, as yeah. as writing. Yeah. Be a lot of time there are for somebody. Yeah. There are maps that, that were you know a part came from the regional planning commission in the 2016 plan. So, and the maps are kind of um, every town plan has you know the maps. The sourcing for the maps comes from the regional planning commission, and usually we do get a certain amount of. We, well, we pay a yearly fee to the Regional Planning Commission, so we, we do get a, a certain amount of service um, unbilled, um, and often the maps are a part of that, mm -hmm. that unbilled service. So, um, and they would probably review whatever, if we did put something together on our own, they would review it. That's what happened with the 2016 plan, mm -hmm. a, a staff person, senior planner, at the Regional Planning Commission reviewed it and, and came back with recommendations um, and uh, actually twice came back with recommendations twice and uh, we pretty much they pretty much all were incorporated with the last uh, entity of the Planning Commission before the present one um, uh, but it's, it, a, it's a lot of work for a small town yeah and, and, and what's in our town plan now is kind of outdated um, it's just it's not a very uh, I mean town plans are pretty you know sleep inducing to begin with but um, ours is just kind of outdated and, and, uh, outdated sleep inducing yeah it's, 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 it's a great executive center. 
<laughs> that's usually what happens with plans this thing. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. a good executive summary, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, yeah. thank you. Perfect. Appreciate that. Thank you. And remember, Monday night at okay. 6 p.m. <laughs> I'll be there. Thank you. Library. Library. Yeah, yeah. yeah. community room. Yeah. 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 So, chance. It's never, it's never according to plan, but that's okay. I would say you're, you're within nine minutes. That's, yeah, that's, that's not bad. Close. close. Six p.m. twentieth. <coughs> community room. They're having a nice little meet and greet. Planning room. commission. Burgers. I'm pretty sure I'm having my hair done. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a filling or a root canal that day. Something. Getting a permanent eye. Getting <laughs> something. Getting the eyebrows. Uh, getting tweezed or wax or something. We've been on to your fire department with Chance Pay yet. What's your pleasure tonight, Chance? Just here to share the budget. I, mm -hmm. I emailed it over to you guys. I wasn't mm -hmm. sure if you'd have uh, to. I don't know if I pulled it off. Right? I haven't been on the computer at all today, so yeah. I don't think I did. And I'd give you guys the, yeah, yeah, I think I the right numbers already anyway. I can't, I can't quote the numbers while you're looking at it, but, you know, yeah. it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, the, the trickiest part of this whole budget is that that funny, funny mechanism that got put in place of doing something 30 years ago for funding the catalyst. You know, they're averaging up the three year. As you can see, the overall budget went down 0.7%. Mm -hmm. So normally everybody would be expecting a 0.7% decrease. This whole thing, Calus is on the bad side of it. So they went up 3.8% this year. We went down 2.8. So there was, you know, $2,000 decrease for the town of Woodbury. Mm -hmm. um, and unfortunately, you know, we're working on, once we can get that close to zero for everybody, we're going to get rid of that. I've talked to Calus about it. You know, because every year I have to explain it to somebody, whether it's Woodbury on the bad side of it or Calus on the bad side of it. Mm -hmm. So hopefully at some point here we'll get close enough to zero for everybody. I mean, there's be done with this mm -hmm. ridiculous thing they got put in place and it's all over. How's it change? What makes the changes? Well, it's it's they've got a three year average, and it was all based on this. Is uh, it population? Nope. That's not a head count. Just dollars. Nope. It should it should be a straight up one third they pay, Woodbury pays two thirds, mm -hmm. but somewhere back in time there was a grant. and Dallas complained they didn't want to pay for the grant because it was an upfront cost versus an app. so it became this three year average thing. So they they pay their third based on a three year average of their third. Is that what Callis in, in implemented? Or well, was it was done for both towns. I was around for that. It was it, there was a bump in the budget. It would have resulted in an increase for Callis. They didn't. So how whoever suggested it just average it. What it means is Woodbury always gets the initial bump and then ours goes down and then theirs starts to go up because of the averaging. If you have a bump of ten thousand dollars, that appears for three years on Callis and not Woodbury. Right. Okay. So it's just this ridiculous yeah. thing that's just mm -hmm. been around forever. Mm -hmm. It just and never went away after mm -hmm. that. Once mm -hmm. we get it close enough to zero, mm -hmm. we've already told them, you know, we need to just, if, if mm -hmm. it, it, may, it may increase one year for them, but at least then everybody would see the 0.7% yeah. decrease. Mm -hmm. You know, if there's a 1% increase, everybody will see a 1% increase. Mm -hmm. Last year, I think their increase was 7 something, 7.7%. 7 mm -hmm. You know, it was an overall 1.7, I think. Mm -hmm. They had a 7% increase. So it's just. Yeah. And it spreads that bump out over. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 So we're trying to get rid of that so that mm -hmm. this will be reflective and, and look exactly the same for both towns. Because you know? those are probably kind of unpredictable until you start putting the numbers together. And, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's it. You know, we always try to make sure we stay below the, uh, the rate of inflation, obviously, you know, which was, I think, 2.4 2. this year was mm -hmm. anticipated. You know, and we're well under that, but a lot of the savings on this is because we've been able to actually cut to the cost of truck maintenance. Mm -hmm. You know, buying the newer trucks, mm -hmm. we don't have to fix them. Mm -hmm. um, so we're starting to be able to see some cost savings there. Uh, the big ones that increased were the typical, you know, insurance, mm -hmm. uh, dispatching, dispatch. things we can't do anything about. Right. Um, 
you know, but if you look down through, you'll see that's where the biggest changes are, is, is the insurance and the dispatch. Uh, the biggest decrease, like I said, was the truck maintenance because we don't need as much money in that to fix trucks that mm -hmm. are brand new. So then you could make up for it with your air pack, all the other stuff that you have to. Yeah, because that's coming. That's part of that capital, capital thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, four more years. Well, that's that's amazing. Your air bottles were over fifteen thousand this year. Fantastic. Yeah. And we had to replace those because the Department of Transportation says so. Right. There wasn't anything wrong with them, but right. yeah. they, were, they have a 15 year requirement on the tanks. Yeah, it's amazing. Wow. So to put them in a truck to drive them to the fire somewhere, you've got to be a DOT approved. So. Mm -hmm. We yeah. found a path that costs 15000 instead of 34000 yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. <coughs> yeah, which required the fire department to you know, kick their Saturday around this weekend, this mm -hmm. past weekend, in order to change out valves and get everything all set. But. It was a considerable cost savings, so it was worth it. Mm -hmm. but, so that's what we're looking at this year. Um, so you're actually down with yeah. like that? Yep. Yeah, 0.7. Yep, 0.7 percent this year. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, um, which you know, overall is about $1,000. It basically means Woodbury's getting about $2,000 less to pay this year than they did last year. So mm -hmm. I don't remember the last time we had a, a negative amount. It's, right, it's pretty time. rare. Yeah, it's yeah. very rare. I don't expect it's, it's going to happen every it's year. It's like here that so many of the costs are outside of our control. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's it. You know, the, the maintenance budget will probably stay the same for the next couple of years until we get rid of another old truck and then we'll be able to bump the maintenance down a little bit. So I don't imagine we'll see, you know, a negative increase mm -hmm. ever, a net decrease every year. Mm -hmm. um, but we figure while we got one, we might as well bump it up. Take it when we can. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there anything that the select board needs to do? Just well, we've got to submit those articles too, right? No, I already submitted you those. Still. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I already sent those. Yeah. I, 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 did, I did bring a copy if somebody wants to look at what was submitted. I remember so seeing standard that. two articles. Yeah. So so we had three last year. We've incorporated the capital into right. the budget this year. And the select board doesn't usually approve those. Those are just. They no, know, right. right. Those are just put into the town, re uh, yeah, the town yeah, report yeah. and then uh, just voted on by the voters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. And then uh, another four or five years. Yeah. Four or five years. Yeah. 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 17, 8, 50. It's, I hope it's four or less. Yeah. It's four. Because mm -hmm. I think, I think last year I said it was five, so yeah, I think it's four, four or less. So another four years and that one will disappear. So it will be down to one article. Everything transfers to the capital replacement fund. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. so, get this simplified as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. Over the course of the next few years, and things will be really straightforward. This will be straightforward. That'll be straightforward. It'll be nice. Mm -hmm. Simple. Mm -hmm. Just my like it. Yeah, good. You guys have anything? Any questions? I don't. No? No. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that's all I have. <laughs> well, that was Simple. exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say I'll work on making it exciting next year. Okay? I saw it already. So <laughs> bring, some, bring some matches and you know, <laughs> well, know not exciting is great in my opinion. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm of the same belief. <laughs> not exciting. All right, appreciate you guys. Have a good night. All right, see you, Tina. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Drink a big bottle of water. Did we get a police call? Did we get a fire call? No. No, I think the pit stop. Putting out a fire. <laughs> You notice that? Yes. <laughs> What's that? I'm super. Table has shifted. Table has shifted. Has it? Yes, it's over that way too far. That way oh, further. Well, yeah. we can move it. Is that better? I'm going to put little marks on the floor. <laughs> that one's going to be mine. That one's yours. Paul's. Brian's. All right. Here we have some goodies to go over. Mm -hmm. Goody goodies or baddie goodies? Um, actually, they're better than than um this past year's. Four. So financial statements. So.
So <coughs> we kick back to the budget that we've been creating. Hi, Paul. So I'm on changes number three. And I say that um, because we've only had... There's a copy of this out in the folder um, folder. Oh, I missed it. Okay. Keep forgetting. So are you on the municipal? Yeah, the hey, if there's one out there for me, grab it. No. No? They were just... Um, no. They had already picked yours up. I okay. I have a... Actually, I have a second one. That I can leave it to you. So you have number two, stage number two, um, that was previous. So stage number three, I've not given you. Um, but what I want to show you, and I would love uh, as he's walking out the door, maybe I can get Skip to review it as an auditor, so that. Set of eyes on it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so on my number three, mm -hmm. we have two hundred and fifty-six thousand two hundred fifteen dollars and seventy cents for the general for the government that needs to be raised. So on your financial statement, balance sheet is first. Financial statement. I plug that number into here for taxes of what needs to be raised. Which okay. is less than last, which last is good. Except we're down, is what you're saying. It's down. Perfect. Yep. So we'll be adding $10,000 yeah. to it. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's all right. I don't see a way out of It'll that It'll still be less, though. Okay. Well, that's, <laughs> that's good. Yeah. It will be less. So that's the government. The highway, I plugged in. We had made some changes, mm -hmm. Michael and I. Um, and I have one one change that we can discuss as a select board. Um, uh, so that one out. <laughs> so with, on my mm -hmm. copy, it is page. We're on number two here. Uh, yeah, on the highway. Is it highway or is it? It's highway. All right. And so page general. one, page, keep flipping well, page four. The state was on the page. Two. So under equipment repairs and maintenance, um, and I think I, I'm, I'm not sure. Greg was a little worried. Uh, Greg Parkers was a little worried about. The 2008 excavator, the repairs for fiscal year 21. Um, he's the road crew is in the process of repairing the track um, to the excavator, and you know we budgeted $2,500 last year. They have probably I think they've spent a little bit more than this, um, but then um, next year someone is going to come and do some repairs on it. Um, you now, is this as a result of Can lens? We? No, this was planned. Planned, anyway. yeah. There's some yeah. work that needs to be done on the other. Yeah. Yeah. It may not be. So I, we may be okay keeping it the way it is, um, and just deal with going a little. So he can't. They can't. They probably can't have any work done and split it. So we are. Well, some of it will be done. You know, might be done in the fiscal year twenty. Um, Right, because they've only spent on it $57, so far, yeah, $57 of last year. Well, right now it's 194 right. Because yeah. there's quite a bit of room there for them to do some of that work in June right. and some in but July. Yeah. That's least, what I would suggest. That's, that's what I'm thinking. At least use so, up this year's and then, yeah. yeah. So I'm thinking that we're probably okay. Because if he spends that budget out this year, yeah. and then we just do the rest yeah. after I, July I think we'll 1st. be okay keeping it the way it is. Um, just make sure he does it that way and we'll be in yeah. good shape, I think. Yeah, and if it does go over a little bit, then... You know, it's just something that went over. Because, yeah, there's a lot of room. There's like 2,400 yeah. still we haven't spent this year. So that being said, on your, if you go to the highway for um, current tax revenue, which would be at the top of, where's your two start? Total highway. What page do you want? Page six. No, that's the, that's the way the print, my printer does the same thing when you do double sided. No, this new copier is not supposed to do that. Oh, mine's right. Okay, so mine. They're not all wiki wacky. No. No, no, you're not on the right one. I'm on the last page right The financial. No. Oh. The, oh, I thought we were in high. Oh, oh, my bad. Okay. Mine, mine is 
definitely all working um, right. Well. It's backwards then, so page six. Anyway. Page seven. six. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking it's page six. It's page seven. Oh, seven. Okay. So, well, on mine is page six. Right here. Page seven, <clears throat> you see where we're at? On oh. the new. On yep. the new. Okay, I have the number. On the FY21. I have the number two. Nope, uh, no, that's not it either. Where's your... I don't have a number three. I don't have a new one. Oh, no, on, the, on this one here. Number, this is just our regular balance sheet financial statement. Oh, okay. All right. So if you go to page, page seven. 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 Seven of 12. Oh, you got the one-sided. That's nice. <laughs> Yours aren't all willy-nilly. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. So here. Right. So on this is where I got that number of, of um, money we have to raise. In taxes. That's the 434.250. Yep. Okay. So all I did was take it from here from our building, exactly what we need to raise, and I plugged it in on your financial statements of the new budget. And um, and that one is lower than last. So the highway is also lower. Yes. It looks like highway went from oh, 462 yeah, yeah. to 325. Is that right? Total. Well, actuals. Actuals. actuals 231 so far. Yeah, I don't have the same thing. Mm -hmm. Look at no. page six here, seven here. Your We're proposing total expenditures of 325, 420. Here, here. Oh, okay, all right. Here, here, and here. Got it, all right. So we budgeted 428, and we actually ended up with uh, 440,000. And then this, so yeah, it is more than what we asked for. For the, for the highway budget? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seven okay, now, now I got the right copy. <laughs> so 440 is right here, yeah. So my number threes is what I want you <coughs> to vote on. This is the actual one, okay. This is mm -hmm. my our running budget that I plugged in at the ending um, okay. and I highlighted the, uh, the amounts that we are going to need to raise in taxes and that's what I plugged into the financial statement for your current tax revenue. But at town meeting, I mean this was the confusion last year, we need to vote on the total. The total, the total yeah, right. But this is it. just yeah. going into the town report. Okay, and the figures in number three that are the total minus the revenue that we would be getting for both the municipal and the, and the highway. Yes, they're yeah. separate. Okay. Yep. Okay. So as of now, those are the numbers that we need to raise in taxes. Mm -hmm. Do you want, should we include the, we, uh, we did vote tonight to um, put on the town Warning for a town meeting agenda warning. Um, a ten thousand dollar appropriation to the um, to pay for a town help pay for a town plan. Which will an article to be voted on. Yeah, it would be voted on by the by the folks that come to town meeting. So, so that would increase our municipal budget um, by ten thousand dollars if they approve it. If they approve it. You wouldn't do put that in your budget. Well, that's what he's what asking budget? about right now. He's mm -hmm. putting it in the budget. It's still being an article. Right. But putting it in the budget underneath voted articles. Mm -hmm. I think, well, um, the planning, I mean, Skip presented it as an article. Oh, article. Yeah, that's what he suggested. And I think that would be best. It would give, you know, kind of publicize mm -hmm. the, the deficiency of the town with its town plan. And if people didn't want to spend that much money on the town plan, it would give them. Sure. Yeah, we'll get volunteers from the floor then to write it. Right, yeah. <laughs> Probably won't happen. Yeah. So I will add it down here to voted articles. Okay. Yep. And I will change and put in 10,000. Okay. And um, I will therefore change this will mm -hmm. go up 10,000. Yeah. And, and we're still under what it was last year with that increase. Is that true? Yes, because it will now be... I just want us to kind of flat rate the both budgets. That would be, that'd be really nice. Before yeah, you finish, kind of I, I want to two, mention six, one other thing. Uh oh. <laughs> six, two, 15, 70, and it's still under. Okay. 
So it's a minus so from under. the previous year. Yeah, that makes yep. me happy. Yeah, me too. Two, six, six, two, five, seven. For changes. Mm -hmm. Highway. Are we, was there any other? No. Anybody? No. Um, did we, and we factored in the potential with the better roads grant. I that's, did. Okay, so that's good. That's accounted for. Yep. And th that's another. You know, we don't know if we'll get it or not. Right. <clears throat> if we do, it would be, it would fall under the fiscal year twenty one budget. Okay. Good. I remember we had discussed that. And I'm sure, it's there. So yeah, on page. Hold on, sugar. We don't have a number three. So that, that would be part of the 4,000. So on page, four. on a, your financial statement, on page seven, okay. down near the bottom, it has um, BBR dash stormwater. Okay. Yep. So that's the revenue side of 19,000. Mm -hmm. And then the expense is the, the um, 20, come on. That's the 19,000 revenue. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's what you mean. And the off. Whoever did these coffees are horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and then on page, probably so page 12, um, it shows the 23000 as the expense. So right. you have to separate those and you, then you have your... Yep. That's the, the, the towns matches. Our match. Towns yep. matches the difference. Okay. Right. Before you finish your general fund, uh -huh. sure. I, I want to mention, I was going to mention it when my turn comes up, but before you finalize everything, we might have to spend up to $2,000 up to $2,000 to fix our lift. Mm, yeah. okay. Oh, the lift has a problem out here? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. We already owe $800, which is not budgeted for, mm -hmm. just for the service yeah. call last week. They got it running, but they said that, that there are two um, items that probably should be replaced. So we could do that two ways. We could put it into the budget, in the, or we could take the money for the repair from the building Town fund. Building maintenance. <gasps> you know what? I didn't give you guys two. a do-to. No, that's okay. I didn't. And, you know, that was a question that I had. You know, we've been um, dipping into our building fund the last couple of years. You know, not a lot. Mm -hmm. um, at some point, and it doesn't have to be this year, but we should probably have that as a, you know, a line item for a yearly appropriation, mm -hmm. start putting some money back into it. But yeah. we still have a fair amount in it, unless there's a major repair. Mm -hmm. right? That sounds pretty major enough there. Something. Oh, we got enough to cover but it. You know, we, uh, we have enough to cover it. You yeah. also didn't put in any money for painting the town hall because you wanted to take it out of there, so. Yeah, yeah. So. Painting the whole thing inside of no, 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 at least the front. Face, at least, at least the, front. the face of it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great, but there's yeah. enough money yeah. to cover those two things. It yeah. yeah. There, there's a, I think there's <coughs> ten thousand dollars still in that, or I haven't looked recently. Do we know? Yeah, we know. But we we okay. may not have that figure in front of us. Okay. I didn't give you that report. No, I did delinquencies. The last two, three weeks. Mm -hmm. income in com, coming in. What came in? Because you've got for uh, repair and maintenance for the town office, you've all, you've got five hundred, which is only enough to pay for our service contract and our ex inspection. Yeah. There are two contracts that we have for the lift. There's no money for anything else, but I don't see where we need anything else. Those are yearly. Yeah, I think, right. I think that yeah. Life, yeah. that's so why that's so five hundred dollars is a minimum per year just for right. Pay the lift lift. inspection. Yeah. It doesn't give us any money for anything else. Mm -hmm. So in delinquencies, nineteen thousand one hundred seventy-one dollars and ninety cents. That came in. Good job, Ron. Nice. Yeah. Uh, other revenue totaling five thousand five hundred seventy-three dollars and eighty-one cents. Uh, recording, certified copies, dog licenses, um, the reimbursement from the fire department for the insurance, uh, marriage license, town hall rentals. I'm drawing a blank. Oh, that was your grant. Yeah, 2400 We had a <laughs> grant, grant for that, some backup. It was a wash. 
yeah. um, the check came in from VLCT, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. VLCT <coughs> passive. Mm -hmm. um, that was what that. So yeah, yeah it was a wash mm -hmm. on that. Um, I don't know if this is a good time to approach this, but mm. this one's getting a little feisty. I know, I'm aware of that, and I haven't quite okay. um, been sure how to respond. You and I could discuss it if you want um, at another time, or we could I, talk about it right now. I don't. What I, is it? I, that's why I popped my head in that night to make it very clear and ask mm -hmm. how this was going to be played out. Um, so let's do it. Okay. So <laughs> I. Uh, back on November 11th, the discussion where Susan came in to ask for um, for Bob's zoning administrator increase. Right. Um, it states in the minutes that that uh, Bob would get paid a prorated amount of 1,200 for the last half of this fiscal year. Typically, I do two payments of 500 in December and then 500 when it's completed his term. For the old stipend of $1,000. Yeah. So December, I cut him a $500 check. And the end of June, I'll cut the $1,200 check. Next fiscal year, he'll get the full $2,500. Mm -hmm. So I highlighted the minutes. I mailed it. And, and um, Susan has been... Um, doesn't believe that's the case. Right. She sent me an email about it too, and I wasn't um, sure what the and, response and I had on that. Does she want it prorated then, or from? I think she has misunderstood what the, the amount that's that is coming to Bob. Uh -huh. um, when did when did he start as a zoning administrator? It hasn't been a full year yet, I don't believe. Um, really? I don't think so. I can pull it up on his... Mm -hmm. on his Who's doing that? Jennifer. Jennifer. Jennifer, okay, yeah. And I know he was doing it for a while. Um, so he didn't have anybody for a bit, and then... Yeah. He, this next one would have... Then he came in. Then he came on. I can't remember yeah. exactly when it was. It, I know, you know, we usually make the appointments after town meeting. So the yeah. board had... So you guys had appointed him. Yes, you did appoint Any him. Any quick way of researching of how to find that in the minutes? So this is okay. gonna. Well, this will just give us. Uh, you know, we can come up so with a plan to, to figure out. Start because yeah. all he's gonna have in there is when he started being a lister. Because he was a lister before he was yeah. zoning. I just. Laura, you could look quickly at the, if you have them on your laptop, the minutes from the uh, select board meeting uh, after town meeting. So the, the first meeting <coughs> in March of 2019, we made appointments then. And I think then we made a few more appointments the following meeting that um, where we needed to check in with people. But I th don't think we appointed Bob then. I think it was sometime it was after, that. after the usual round of appointments um, at following town meeting. Because Diana was covering it. She was sort of the kind In of the an meantime, interim. Yeah. yeah. So I think it was sometime I think that was the end camp. Was In the summer? Would it show up? Because uh, I popped my pay, head in. Pay stubs or anything? No. No. Okay. No, because it only takes one date and when you have more hats. She may not be understanding more the jobs difference. I think she here. I think she yeah. thought we were going to be I think she's thinking of a calendar year. said we would can, we weren't going to back pay to July 1st. We were right. going to just start in January. Half. Yeah, That's my recollection of I it. Think, yeah, I think she either has the, the fiscal year versus calendar year confused. That's what I think. The only yeah. way to settle it is to go watch the... No, it's, it's, it should be in the meeting minutes when we appoint. Well, that's, yeah, that's in the minutes. It's what yeah. it says is the last half. Which her contention yeah. is that the minutes are, wrong. minutes are wrong. So the only oh. way to settle that dispute would be to go back and watch the Right. The video, doable. The, the, which is doable, and then yeah. if we the didn't minutes, speak, yeah. But it's a conflict of interest. This is Bob's pay. No, yeah, it. it's a weird situation. Bob should be the one bringing up the issue, um, which has always felt kind of weird that way. Um, so I'm, pretty, I'm not because I'm of the, not the, to me, the only way to settle this dispute is you gotta, someone's got to watch the. I'll, I'll do that. The TV I'm show. The I'm the one that created the minutes. You see what I'm saying? If if in fact she's correct, then. 
yeah. the minutes are wrong, but I don't believe so, but I don't know no. that. I, I, I will do that. Um, it's really you know, going to be the only way to settle it. Yeah, I'm, I'm the one that put together the minutes. They're based on the notes that <coughs> Laura took. Laura's notes are usually pretty They're accurate. Pretty good, yep. So um, I have a feeling that it's, there's just confusion on her part. Um, but I can... You don't I, mind? I mean, I, I see that the only way mind. to settle this dispute no, is... I don't mind. It's right at the beginning of the meeting, you know, so I, I can find that pretty quickly. Oh, so um, they, you can just look up the oh, old... Yeah, yeah, yeah you can the, go back. Thankfully, the <laughs> community <laughs> television has a. Uh, <laughs> if, if you can't sleep, Brian, you can just come and relive yeah, these meetings relive. over and over. Wow. <laughs> and they, they have they have a record of all you know over a few years. I'm not yeah. sure how long they hang I'll on. I'll see to this them. Christmas present in your future. <laughs> I'm going to give you a CD with CD. every meeting you've ever been. Yeah, it'll be a test. Are <laughs> still trying to figure out when Bob started? Yeah. The first permit he issued was July 2018. Okay, but it's not really relevant. Rebel, 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 no, it's really this conversation. Not. It's really the minutes are to actually watch right. the video. That's her contention: is that the minutes were incorrect. We need to watch the video. So he didn't start right off in March, then. No, he would have already been doing it. Actually, yeah. um, he would have been the zoning administrator before town meeting last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if he started, if his first permit was July. 2018. Yeah. But that doesn't mean we need to raise for the entire period. No, we were right. the 10th, I remember, was we were going to start to raise July for January 1st, last half of the year. Mm -hmm. That's right. what I remember. Six and, and that's what the $1,200 is. So, he, right. so according to the minutes, he would get the second half of his stipend at would the end of the, the fiscal rate. year. Which the would be, June. At the new rate, and he would be paid his December one yeah. at the old rate. Yeah. But again, we've got to watch the video mm -hmm. the only way you can. Yeah. Make sure. Yeah. Make sure. And what's the date of that? That's on November 11th. November 11th. I actually came across them doing a town, the select board report. Came across that. So that was of 18? Yep. On oh, 19. 19. Sorry. Just this past one. Just this past one. Yeah. This past, yeah. <coughs> okay. So. And I'll um, let her know that I'm doing that and, and trying to figure it out. So I haven't responded to her yet. So I will make the changes in the government to that 10000 mm -hmm. I will adjust the current tax revenue, and then... So you would like us to vote approving... Um, this, but this is what's going to go on the county board. Right. Right. So I would make uh, a motion that the select board approve the... Um, Say the budget that goes into the town report. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> the, Not that we're voting on tax the, rates yeah. or nothing. Proposed the, budget. The present draft. There you go. The proposed budget. Yeah, the proposed budget for the municipal budget and the town highway budget for um, fiscal year 21. Second. Right. Uh, yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So, does that make sense what I said? I yeah. Think? yeah. Okay, good. So that there's no change to the, the highway. Anyway, that yeah. the budget's yeah, there. No change to the highway. Yeah. It'll be in the town report. And um, I leave Wednesday. So if there's anything, mm -hmm. we were good on the grant on anything else you need for copies. Yep. It should be. Um, yep. You'll leave Wednesday? Leave. I leave to go to Kentucky for a week again. You didn't come in and ask us you didn't to get go. permission? What the heck? Is it warmer there? <laughs> no. Not much. Was. Oh, really? <laughs> it was. But this work this week, it's only in the 20s. Oof. But there's no snow. You need to go yeah. further south then. Yeah. Yeah, keep Looking driving until it's too hot. There's sort of, you know, the weather that we've been having is sort we've of... We've had like, kind of summary, you know, like yeah. warm We're breeze on Saturday, a couple warm breezes there. on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This weekend. Is, is where you're going, is it higher up? Is it lower kind of valleys it's or in mountains? Flat. It's oh, really? flat. Uh, warmer, colder, same? It's a different dry... It, the, it rains and then the water just sits on top of mm -hmm. the three inches and it doesn't absorb. It's the weirdest it's thing. It's all clay. Yeah. 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 Mm. There's coal trains and bottle oh. belts and just very nice mannered people. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's <laughs> nice. Yeah, well, like <laughs> very respectable. It's yeah. nice. Huh. Um, Tom's filling in. He will do payroll. I let Greg know that um, Tom will be here on the 20th. For, to do payroll, mm -hmm. and um, and as soon as I get back, I have roughly two weeks to make sure that I get done W twos. Mm -hmm. So, all right. 
Okay. Have fun on your trip. Oh. Yeah. Drive, Hope fly. I don't get stuck anywhere because there's snow here. You fly or <laughs> driving? I'll fly. Yep. Lay over in Charlotte. I'm going somewhere. I don't know where <laughs> I haven't figured that out yet. Thank you. Take care. You're welcome. So, Diana, we're all set for her cook. <laughs> We had to go down and update our driver's licenses at Motor Vehicle today. And mm -hmm. We didn't have our birth certificates. So yeah. They did everything except we yeah. can't fly. Yeah. Yeah. Said, well, this is not a problem because Judy will not fly. Yeah, you can't pick them up that day anymore either. They come to you in a couple weeks after you, yeah. you get a temporary day. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, we can do this this one because there's no way. <laughs> so you can't fly. Yeah. In, you can't fly in country. Yep. Yeah. Without no, you can't get on a plane yes. without a real ID now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. it's been a while since I've been on a plane too. Yeah. Yeah. I said, no, that's not an issue. We'll take what we can get. I got our new ID. We'll get our new IDs in the mail or whatever. It's just so nice, like going to Florida. Mm -hmm. You just hop on the plane, and two hours later, you're in Florida. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. pretty nice. Yeah. Instead of a twenty-something hour drive. Yeah. 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 Twenty-two. If you're on, the, it. on a good day. <laughs> So I'm preparing to get some of our money back. All right. Mm -hmm. Put together a nice little package here. Yeah, as we mentioned, it'd be a stack of papers. Yeah. <laughs> and um, this is, well, if anybody wants to see it, here's the cover letter that I wrote to Melissa um, Austin. Store project. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I've got the uh, contract. I'm not submitting for the total contract amount because those last few things have not been approved, like the extra asbestos that was found and the extra um, concrete that had to be dug out. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, um, so I'm only putting in for the uh, deposit. And then we've got the money we spent on buying the property, we've got the engineering, we've got some attorney fees, we've got some advertisements. <coughs> All the way back to the lead and asbestos study, the property appraisal, and the phase one environmental site assessment, mm -hmm. which come to $105,000, 75% of which is $78,853. And um, that's how much I hope they'll pay us in the near future. This is for you to sign. Um, Michael Gray. Yeah, sign it. I t it typed your name, but it's really small, but you sign yep. up here. Okay. Just one for me and one for so the I'll paper. Sign up, so. Now, we had talked about a lot line adjustment to it yeah. at some point. Yeah. You probably yeah. want to wait until FEMA's done. Yeah. Wait until we get clear FEMA and then Well, we wanted, yeah, we wanted to wait until we own the property, but yep. right now it's just, yeah. Something yeah, we on my like, list of things yeah. to do. Yeah, we'll work on that in a moment. Uh, the, yeah. Month, I think. Yeah. 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 Now, I think really, if you guys want uh, that property line the way Lisa thought it was, maybe you should do the legal work. The fire department. It's all coming out of the same pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just comes, in, comes out of the other pocket, but it's the same one, yeah. 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 So, okay. That should be pretty That's simple thing to do, too. I yeah, it's just, it's well, just a matter I, of quick because she, that she's suggesting no, on the town your survey that already. you signed you that. Signature. Okay, well I signed it. Oh, so that's your signature? Yeah. Like so yeah but you put it in line. the typed or printed yeah. name and title. Oh. So, but yes, we should do it. <laughs> so make it a little more scrawly. Okay, so I'm the sub, where the town <laughs> is the yeah. sub recipient. Right, okay, right. right. <laughs> okay, I thought that was for the V, the Vermont Emergency Management place to sign. So on the same note as <coughs> this, our uh, our loan runs out on the 24th, and the oh, bank January. is asking, and we're not going to have our money back by then. So right. Well, okay. The Extension. board agrees to to yeah. Yeah. Agree to it. Sign yeah. that one. Mm -hmm. um, Just need to be Michael signing or. Mm, I would love to have all three of you and just mm -hmm. just so happen, I know so. that I yeah. have the authorization before I leave to. Do this. Yep. So this you is a motion. Extent. There's nothing for them to sign right now, right? Well, no, they can sign their signature on that. Uh -huh. Or they can so. make a motion. With a vote. 
Okay. Both, yeah. <laughs> so uh, let, I want to know how long we're going to be extending. Just do a month. A month? Okay. If we, if we you sure? We're dealing with FEMA. Yeah. The, well, the money is already in Vermont. Okay. I understand. Okay. Oh, yeah, the state it has it. Right. Okay. It is yeah. post Irene. It's a state right. money. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, um, how about if I make it for two months, just in case? Let's do that. If, if we don't, yeah, that'd be fine. Because if we don't use it, we're not paying interest on it. Right. So. Right. So um, I'd like to make a motion that the town um, extend um, its loan deadline with the uh, Union Bank for two months um, from January 24th, 2020 to March 24th, 2020. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And now we can all stand. Um, and I'll just write a note. Um, Woodbury Select Board, and we can send them the minutes. I know she may even have, yeah, she may have more documentation that I'll have to go in and sign off. Yep, that's fine. Um, and then provide, right, minutes or whatnot. Um, mm -hmm. 13th of January. Well, it won't be expired until after Brandy comes back. Well, wait. Yes. 24th. Yeah, so if I have to do it, I can do it too. Extension for this loan to <coughs> three twenty-four. Now we're gonna do another grant at some point to reconstruct the stream uh, over there or just be nice. Nice. Yeah. What, nice. we'll, um, be nice, yeah. Have Diana and I will be meeting the chair and board and Shauna Clifford this Thursday morning at eight AM and you probably want to write a date on the bottom of that when we signed it. Right. Um, actually, I did uh, vote it on January 13th. Okay, yeah. um, we'll be meeting with them to just uh, begin an initial discussion of what should we, you know, what can we do, what should we do with the stream, um, are there any grants available, you know, yeah. just to, to have mm -hmm. them look at it. Shauna, I know that um, VTrans has just started the planning for a, a FEMA grant to, to ch put in a different culvert situation there. Yeah. And Jaron um, can look at it and say, well, you know, to, to properly restore the stream, you know, you should do this. Um, he can let us know what permits might be needed. And he might have an idea of, is there somebody that we could apply? Yeah. For you know, a grant to help pay for this um, other than FEMA. <laughs> Um, or it's a possible or, there might be some FEMA money that right, happens. and you know maybe that could be maybe VTrans would be willing to. I doubt it. But, mm -hmm. yeah. so there still is a pinch yeah. point down there that's yeah. right there. It's going to cause us problems yeah. if we don't fix it. Yeah. So at least don't mean, spill like, over and go the right right way. Go one the, spot. Oh, yeah, it goes <laughs> wide behind Chris's, but then behind where the store yeah, is. Yeah, it's kind of like got a it narrows right mm -hmm. down to like mm -hmm. three feet again. But at least now when it backs up, the water could go. It's going to go across instead of. Yeah, and I looked at it on, um, when did we get the rain? Sunday. I, I think it was Sunday I went down and just looked at it. And, um, right now it's the V-Trans culverts. One of them yeah, is... Yeah, because they got the storm drain storm, and everything right in it's there. It's kind of it's half full, full and that's mm -hmm. full of ice too. So yeah. And it's full on the downside, so it can't flush it can't out. Because yeah. it goes out mm -hmm. and gets higher on the gravel right. side. I'm going to have Jaron look at that too. Mm -hmm. So that all needs to be dredged mm -hmm. back out down to the brook. Mm -hmm. right. okay. Probably even down... Back my way because yeah. it's filled in over the years. With every time it's every time floods, flood. it fills the brook up. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, and if you guys want to wander over to hear any of or have any questions, yeah, we'll see you over there. All. Yeah, yeah, eight I'm, eight I'm not going to warn it. Eight, eight o'clock Thursday morning. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to warn it or anything. You know, mm -hmm. we're just going to be just looking at it more than anything else. You know. I was, I first wanted to, I was concerned because. When the contractor left the north side of the stream, closest to the old store, was was basically dirt down to the edge. And I thought, you know, I really thought they would have done something a little more than throw some hay mulch on there, but mm -hmm. they didn't. And now it's under snow, so right, it's hard to see. What's yeah, there. yeah. yeah but so I thought they could have the done spring. something more than just yeah. some some hay mulch. I thought they could have done some matting or something, whatever. Yeah. So our total, it looks like our total is going to be about $190,000.
which would make our portion about 47,637 and mm -hmm. we've put aside 44,000 so we'll not be bad. a couple yeah. three three something that's not over mm -hmm. it'll <coughs> be in FY19 so mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about budgeting for it just put mm -hmm. it in there yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. yeah that's not bad in FY20 pretty close mm. <coughs> well if we if they hadn't taken part, out that whole stream part we would have been uh, way over. Oh, all back, yeah. <laughs> so that worked mm -hmm. out yeah. on that end of it. Yeah. 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 And the stream's in really good shape down mm -hmm. past, well, down to the old store. Yeah. You know, it's wide. A lot of the bottom areas, the state culvert. Yeah. 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 That's that corner there, there where it turned out to be the state culvert. That, that's the. Mm -hmm. Now it's in their problem area. Remember, they always have said, well, we'll, we'll take care of up to our right away. Mm -hmm. You got it, buddy. It's all yours <laughs> now. Yeah. Yeah. And I also was going to ask, shit, shit, Shana? Whether there should be some, you know, like Jersey barriers or something to keep people from driving into that. But then you look at the other side, open, and there's the nothing thing, there yeah. either. Right. So well, I think once we get to spring and there's some grass there, and mm -hmm. you can yeah. yeah, put some posts in well, we something. Be, yeah, every, anything, we can't an put anything in the state right away, but we could put a couple. Right. Yeah, I'm going to prepare an application for some a grant for some landscaping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Jake so. would appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> well, on a nice row of trees like he has on the other side of his house. Oh, you probably <laughs> like him out further, so yeah. he's got more lawn. <laughs> well, mow the lawn and then we good. That's what that, Chris always said, I'll mow. You guys put a lawn in, I'll mow it. Oh, so I'm sure, sure Jake will. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> or else it'll turn to bushes or we got to pay the other guy. <laughs> it would be nice to get the brook reconstructed and nice granite mm -hmm. walls all the way down to... Group 14 and well, a nice green space yeah, over they're there. Probably not gonna, well, what, what they did in the upper part where it comes out of the cabin road culvert is just, you know, rip Yeah, well, they put nice, narrow. nice green or nice you know, cement mean, walls, but yeah. You but don't rip mean black, but yeah. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah, as long as they build the walls so that it's not going to erode continually, mm -hmm. it's always going to be stones or whatever mm -hmm. in the bottom. Mm -hmm. right? Okay. Okay. Thank Thank you. Thursday. Yes. Thursday. Right <laughs> it's not a neat meeting for us, is it? <laughs> no. I mean, you guys could come yeah, if we just want. want to show up. It's not an yeah, official yeah, meeting. It's not an official meeting. So what is Thursday morning for? At 8. Just to meet with Jaron, Borg, oh. and Shauna to um, just start a, begin a discussion of what to do with the stream restoration. <coughs> I mean, I'm sure Jaron will have some thoughts and, you know. And That's right here. Yeah, right, right, the village. Yeah. Oh, in the village. Yeah, yeah. Right in the village. You yeah. want it fire to go? It'll be, yeah, it'll be. <laughs> just looking at the stream, um, pretty much. Yeah, okay. Thursday morning, 8 o'clock. Yeah, I definitely show up and <coughs> see what they have to say. And they've been piling snow up around the roadside of it, so nobody's mm -hmm. going to accidentally uh -huh. try to drive over the top of it. Snow <laughs> Jersey barriers. Snow barrier. Jersey barriers, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, on to the. Town Highway Report. Um, you, know, <clears throat> you know, obviously the road crew is in uh, winter plowing, sanding. Uh, the roads are in pretty good shape. Um, yeah, that melting and exposed a lot of the sand, where it's dusted over it. But. Yeah. <coughs> um, so um, and, and it seems to be holding up. With, with the, have been some repairs to both of the ten wheelers, um, but they're both. I think they're both back um, and running now. And it's the old truck is back in the spot over by the chlorine tank. So mm -hmm. chlorine tank. Um, so I just wanted to mention that we, you know, we did have um, the old Corey uh, road spur hearing this past Friday. Um, we'll be discussing a little bit more about that in executive session. Um, and then um, I brought, I think I sent you guys. And I read through that. Okay. I have copies here too. Um, we had talked about maybe sending this winter operations policy to uh, a town resident um, who seems to consistently have problems with the roads over the last th at least three or four years that I'm aware of. Um, so, and I, but I wanted you just to be familiar with the policy. I mean, it does talk about having. You know, the proper tires um, and. Oh, that resident. <laughs> right. Um, so, 
I could put together a short letter. You know, I, what I would like to do is send this policy mm -hmm. to that person yep. um, with a short letter. Um, I think we should all sign it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So I don't want just you being on the hook there for right. anything. So yeah. Um, so what I would do is, I'll, and you know, let's see, it probably won't happen until the end of this week or early next week. That that Since you have all day Friday, right? Yeah. <laughs> fill that right in for you, right? <laughs> um, so um, yeah, so what I could do is write it and then have it here. Come down, and sign it. Yeah. Come in and sign it, and then yeah. we'll, we'll mail it. Because it is something. It's got to be sad, you know. It's right. It's getting to be a real pain for right. us as well. Other people. It's only one person that's been has issues and mm -hmm. we have a lot of bad roads in this town and steep and yeah, tough, you, tough you, you are responsible for your own cars. Mm -hmm. you, know, you gotta make mm -hmm. them safe to yeah. be on the roads. And then you know I would also offer as I had before um, verbally in a phone message to just review the situation for that person and try to figure out where the problem might be. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if it is an equipment problem um, and you know, make suggestions on if that person is willing to do that. Yeah. Um, okay, so that I'll, I'll um, do that. Um, and you know, Brandy, I re I'm also realizing that with the budget, um, we should probably um, have a discussion about the truck replacement. Um, and we could do that, um, I think we could do it in an open meeting maybe right mm -hmm. now. Um, we should probably do it in an open meeting. Um, so, <clears throat> We need to make a decision about <coughs> replacing the 2013 10-wheeler um, soon, um, partly for the commitment we have made, um, but also for the for the fiscal year 21 budget. Um, right now, we are. So that, know, Essex, that um, the 56,000 that's going over. It, it wouldn't affect the overall budget. It would affect the amount that we would put into the her fund next year if we make a commitment to. Um, so the, the transfer <coughs> out is at fifty six thousand. Right. Yeah. So what it would do is, there would be another. Uh, if we if we approve getting this truck for the first payment being in fiscal in October first, um, uh, twenty twenty, mm -hmm. uh, which would be fiscal year twenty one. Um, if we if we approve that, then there would be less money being transferred out. So it's not going to affect okay. the overall budget. Okay. Okay. Um, but I just want you to be, you know, Aware. part of this conversation. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I I talked to um, Tom Fadden today, and I know you've had a conversation yeah. with yep. too, Paul. And I, you know, I asked him what are the reasons for being on a, a payment schedule. You know, Hardwick is on an eight-year um, replacement schedule, and he mentioned that, you know. In the not too distant future for Hardwick, they had a 10 year cycle for replacing other trucks, and they found that they were spending a lot of money in repairs starting with year seven. So, year seven to 10, they spent more money in repairs. It was actually, you know, financially, uh, whatever the word is, um, more responsible to, to, to replace a truck earlier so that they weren't spending the money in repairs. One question for that their mileage. He said that what what or more. what you need to think about more than mileage is the hours that the truck works. Okay. Um, so I guess it, hours and is, are they getting you know like ten thousand more hours on the truck in that time frame than we are? I didn't. Or are I didn't we higher. I didn't ask him that that's, question. Because that's odd. It's not the age. It's the hours that are right. the cost factors. Right. Yeah. I didn't ask him that question of how many hours. I didn't ask him how much mileage either. You know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because if they were putting on 100,000 and we're doing 70 in that right, time, right. there's some differences there. Yeah, okay, so that's a question to ask, but yeah, hours it's not going to help us for tonight. No. Um, but, and you know, in a way, because it's not going to affect the overall budget, we don't need to make a decision tonight. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, so let me just write that down. Because they have a lot more trucks than we do. Yeah. So I don't know, we may be putting more hours and miles on than they are. But it'd be, I'd really be interested in that. Yeah. Okay. So that's a good question to ask. Um, so, you know, so I again, here's my um, spreadsheet, um, which was, you know, <coughs> afternoon. But 
Um, if we if we go with the you know, the plan that we had originally had this from this summer um, in fiscal year 21, the bank with a, we would have a seven-year loan with the bank, which we have already discussed with the bank, um, and they've given us you know it'd be a seven-year loan. Um, we would be paying twenty-one thousand six hundred eighty-one dollars a year, and over the term of, of that seven-year loan, we would be paying nineteen thousand dollars in interest. So it's a chunk of money that we pay in interest. Um, so for each year following, um, we would be um, spending out of that ninety, out of the hundred and four thousand dollars that would go that goes towards the highway equipment, which is. $90,000 in a yearly appropriation um, from the town, and then $14,000 from the Swenson Quarry. Um, we would be spending $55,000 and <coughs> into the HERF, um, basically $49,000. Um, so at, at present, I'm not sure what's in the HERF right at the moment, but you know, based on the the uh, schedule that Skip put together last year, um, he has about $16,000 in the hearse, so adding the $48,000 um, would give us $65,000 by the end of fiscal year 21. And then we would have the $21,681 payment every year, so we'd be basically ex expending the same amount um, for those next couple of years. And, you know, if, my, my thinking is, um, there's two, two, two scenarios that I wanted to just explain. If we purchase a new truck this year, the other 10-wheeler, we would basically ask it to um, function for another three years so that we can spread out the mm -hmm. purchase, mm -hmm. which is the other part that we want to try to do here. Um, so we would, we would basically be asking the other 10-wheeler, the 2014, 10-wheeler to go for nine, ten years. Um, so we would kind of test out which scenario actually works best. And, and we can expect, as Greg Parker has also mentioned, to be spending some money on repairs for that truck. Um, and, uh, you know, we're going to be making expenses on the low pro up to fiscal year 26, for, for the loader up to fiscal year 24. Somewhere in there, you know, there's a grader that's we're going to want to try to replace. But So each year we would be adding to the HERF fund by roughly $49,000. So in fiscal year 21, we would have $114,000 in the HERF fund. By fiscal year 23, we would have $163,000. So if we were to replace the 2013, if we were to wait a year um, and replace the, the uh, 2013, let's say in fiscal year 22, um, get one more winter out of it, one more year out of it, um, we're going to get less uh, trade-in for it, obviously. And, and um, so our expenditure in the loan would probably be more than the 21000 or twenty-two thousand that we're that we're anticipating paying if we purchase the truck uh, for fiscal year twenty-one, um, but we would be putting more money, you know, into the HERF fund. Right. Our expenditure for fiscal year twenty-one for highway equipment would be uh, basically thirty-three thousand dollars. We'd be able to put seventy thousand dollars, seventy-one thousand dollars, into the HERF fund, um, which would bump it up uh, at the end of fiscal year 21 to $87,000. Um, and then, you know, whether we, the catch is, is that we're going to, if we want to spread this apart, you know, in the, if we buy a truck this year, we could take the risk of spreading it apart three years. If we wait a year to replace the 2013, well, we want to try to have the same spread between um, two, you know, three years, which would mean we would be asking for four more years out of the uh, 2014. Um, so basically, bringing it up to about 10 years, 11 years. Um, How do you feel the trucks are right now? Has he got any complaints or any worries that something's well, going to fall apart? As or? Greg, as Greg mentioned, you know, um, when we spoke with him. Um, that you you should anticipate more costs and repairs, and Tom Fadden sort of you know anticipate maybe maybe, maybe not. Well, it, it's not so much the truck, the cabin chassis itself. It would be the other stuff. It would be the plows, the um, 
you know, the blades on the plows, blades on the plows, the, 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 the pins, the pins in the joint, any of the joints for the plows. You know, there's there's not a grease fitting there. It's just metal on metal. There are mm -hmm. pins. So um, the the actual you know parts that the pin is in will wear, and the pins will wear. So mm -hmm. um, you know, so just. It, it is, I don't know the figure, and we had kind of asked Greg, well, maybe, you know, could you kind of guesstimate how much that might be? It'd be nice to take a shot and go one year longer. Uh huh. See what we get. And that's well, kind of where I'm feeling too. Okay. When you trade you know? in a truck, your plows don't go with it. Yes. We trade everything. Well, yeah, well, there's, we not a, there's no economy in swapping that stuff over. Yeah. 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 When we're talking truck, it's the whole thing. Um, Plow the, swings, the whole works. Yeah, the body. <coughs> You know any of any of that um, the sander, you know the whole the whole work. The, the the actual cabin chassis. That's part. That's I mean when we purchase a new truck, we purchase the cabin separate chassis pieces. and then they send it the, down. The, have dump bodies. And the plows. dump body and the plows is is a separate All part. On, yeah. But it, you know. But if we are going to look to try to get extra years out of them, then we would also look to the road crew to make that possible with. More maintenance, different maintenance. Yeah, and I, you know, I yeah. feel that they're doing all the do all, they you know, can all the proper point. maintenance on it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah. going to argue that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and you know, and the the other catch, of course, is is that you know part of the maintenance, um, the longer you stretch it out, is is the electronics, which is totally out of yeah. the road crew. That's the biggest. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. you can't yeah. do it. Yeah. 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 Um, so, but so if we wait a year. Um, and so we're a good third of the way through this yeah. winter already. Yeah, I think it's is it seven years now that those trucks. Um, you know, I don't know when we. Had, I know when I started on the select board in 2014, those trucks were already it's already here. Already here. Um, so was that so the first? Was 13. that the first winter that they were in operation? I know one's a 13, but I'm not sure about the think, other. Yeah, they came within the same. They're, they year. one's a 13, one's a 14, but they were both purchased at the same time. Same time. Yeah. On July. So one was a holdover. Yeah. yeah so one was a holdover. Um, so that's it. Yeah. They might as well so call them the same year then. Right. So I, I kind of lean it. I think it's worth a one year. Okay. I know it's a two. It's a year and a half actually because yeah. we're already. Mm -hmm. it, that's just where I'm leaning. I think it's worth a test to see. Yeah. We'll know. Okay. Yeah. So um, <coughs> we don't have to make a decision about yep. the other truck right now. So we'll wait a year. Um, Okay. And that we can build some money in that account. Right. Some other things mm -hmm. are exciting about if we bought a tractor or some other mm -hmm. things that might help out. Right. Um, which yeah, we do need money. other things at the shop besides trucks. And it Maybe. is tough to yes. get them. It the could cycle. be a stupid decision, but yeah. you'll never know until you try. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it, there's no risk, but I don't think it's a great risk. I don't think it's a huge risk. I, I inspected that equipment. and Again, my suggestion, if there's if there's known issues with like the spinners going bad or those mm -hmm. hoses, then just replace them replace all. Them, yeah. yeah, and those are those are yeah, just minor repairs yeah. And, yeah. and within the scope of the yeah, road. Just this summer, if it's a problem, just go down and yeah. replace all the hoses. If that whole assembly needs to be replaced, okay. just replace it. That way, you don't have a breakdown. Okay, yeah. so we'll we'll wait a year, and then as far as the 2014, whether we cool. want to have a two-year spread or a three-year spread. We'll make that kind of, a, kind of see how yeah, we'll see how this one goes. Yeah, we'll see how this works out, yeah. Okay, all right. Good. Because yeah, obviously yeah. something's going to get stretched here, you know, because we're, yeah. regardless of this, we're going to stretch one of those trucks two or three years beyond what yeah. we had originally yeah. did. Yeah. 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 And somewhere in the mix at some point, there's a greater... And yeah. Hopefully they can tell us which truck would better would be better to stretch out a little yep. bit further. Yep. One that hasn't had any problems at all as compared to one that they right. which right. nickel down to it might be the open one, you know, you never know. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So So really this being said, are mm -hmm. we are is a spreadsheet gonna be created for the HERF schedule? <coughs> yeah, what I'd like to do is take that for the town no. report. Uh not for the town report. No. No. Because we haven't in the past put right. in no Okay. There, there won't be. A, it needs to be thought out some more. Yeah, because I think we actually need to do a schedule of equipment on that spreadsheet of what our yeah. anticipation is. Yeah. Right, that's well, what we, that. we may not stick to it 100%, but it's at least our plan. We, we have the one that uh, Skip put together, and there are actually a couple scenarios. Here's a paper copy of it. So maybe my next. We would be able to have that, that. yeah. That Agreed. That. Yeah. So, um, and there's yeah. different scenarios yeah. that we. 
I, you know, I keep on You have this in a spreadsheet form you could send this me. I have it digitally, yeah, so okay. I could send it. I know I said I, I would before. That's okay. I haven't had yeah. time to look at it anyway. Yeah. Um, I think there were two scenarios, and he mentions the assumptions yeah. down at the bottom. Of, so. Yeah, he did a nice spreadsheet. He did, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's, oh, he's good at spreadsheets. He's yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cause he, and even in this assumption, they're talking about replacing the 2013 and 2021, so that would put us right on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, 2021 is basically this knocking at the door. Well, let me yeah. say in, in budget 2022, we're <coughs> okay. 21, so okay. a whole, whole year from July. Okay. Yeah. So he was assuming another. Yeah. So we're we're going to be right on this schedule. Do you have tea? We have tea. Got a tea. Yeah. Yeah. I got a coarse throat. So this is okay. my arm light. I went through. Oh, okay. You'd like us to okay. sign off right. on That's it. why you this had <coughs> lovely okay. hot pink. I'll get lovely hot pink. I didn't notice that there was a place. In there. So I guess um, if we're going to approve oh, it, we should probably. Yeah, thank you. This is a payroll for. Oh, okay. Um, yep. Is it to say fiscal year 21? Yeah. <coughs> Which would start July 1st of this coming summer. I think this is partly just uh, you know, because of some of the you know, glitches that we found in doing the budget um, for payroll. I apologize for the sound now. <laughs> so. This time, still. Yeah, I didn't. I you know I saw it and I looked at it and I, but I didn't notice that there was a place for us to sign it. It's, it's mostly just so that Brandy has a clear statement of what to put in for payroll for. Um, for fiscal year 21. I was talking to Michael a little bit earlier, and I was telling him that this one needs to be adjusted. Michael's. Oh, the top one, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out later. We'll but. figure that out at some point, executive session, but I just, for the amount of work he puts in, yeah. I have started to get adjusted. Track of my hours. Yeah, I think, I mean, to be fair to the next person that has to sit in the chair, that's kind of always been my mantra. If someone's doing a lot of extra, then mm -hmm. the next poor bugger has to sit in that chair, doesn't even want to sit in it. Yeah. yeah. So I'll make a motion that we approve the um, payroll uh, schedule that Brandy provided us for fiscal year 21. Second. All in favor? Aye. So, so. So I will let Charlevoix know. Uh, there's, uh, I'll let the know also. Um, and I think we'll take a little bit of going away. Waiting years. Oh, no, I struggle making this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 Make a little bit more questionable how long, you know, how big of a right, gap how we can deal with that. I'm not price. convinced moving forward we will have both of those trucks or something different either, so right. this gives us some opportunity to think mm -hmm. about that. Okay, okay um, so um, next on our agenda is uh, to go into the executive session. So I'd like to make a motion um, that we go into the executive session at 7. 50, 748, um, so citing um, 1 VSA section <coughs> 313A1B, labor relation agreements with employees, and also citing um, 1 VSA section 313A1E, pending or probable civil litigation. Second. All, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. <laughs>